Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and Wapa, we have the Emacs Grand Turbo GT 3520-05 motor. This was provided by Banggood, so thank you, Banggood. And uh, straight off the bat, I just want to give you my specs, or my uh, results here. So with a 12.6 propeller uh, with four cell, it's getting right about 7.95 pounds of thrust and 61 amps, which is actually higher than what it's rated for. You can see in the left-hand corner there uh, is are the specs that are on the box. So that's kind of interesting. I'm not sure if my, maybe my setup was just different. It was certainly not a very scientific setup, as this is my first really motor review. But I mean, that's good uh, that, that it would be more. These are four millimeter bullet connectors. So keep that in mind because they're a little bit larger. I think uh, kind of standard ESCs or mo more common ESCs use like three or 3.5 millimeter. And then you can see here we have some mounting hardware. This is a nice. Uh, Nice uh, uh, mounting uh, shaft right there, propeller shaft, and then the uh, the mounting plate in the background. That's I guess that would be like a, a collet. Is that what they call it? A collet? <laughs> I don't know French words. You know, uh, and I believe that would go on the uh, shiny part, the uh, shaft that is sticking out of the motor. If you wanted to use it in that configuration, it comes with hardware as well for uh, you know mounting everything up. It also comes with uh, the female. Uh, four millimeter uh, bullet plug so like the actual the barrel which is nice and I already have those soldered up to that 80 amp ESC um, you'll see on the motor for some reason it says uh, three to four cell um, but for some reason on the specs it's it actually says that you can take it up to five cell so I'm not sure what's up with that but we only did four cell anyway and uh, I'm just gonna mount this up um, in the kind of norm, I would consider normal configuration, how I would, uh, how I usually mount the propellers and stuff, which is like kind of on the front. I would call that the front. I think that's the front. Anyway, the propeller is going to be mounted to the spinny part on the, the outrunner rotor. And you can see we got a nice shot of kind of the inside and the, uh, the actual shaft there. This is a chunky motor. Like this is a this is a beefy one. This is actually this is definitely the largest motor that I now have, which is pretty fantastic. And I think I'm going to use it to power the Gigabat or whatever I'm going to end up calling it. It's just going to be a giant pink blob in the sky. Um, yeah, and then we've got these little discs, and the discs actually have little serrations to help grip the propeller, uh, which is nice. So those go right on there. This is the uh, twelve six propeller that we're going to be using to test, or one of them that we're going to be using to test. And I did have to drill out the propeller to 5 16 inch for the, uh, to fit the eight millimeter shaft. So not a big deal. Here's my setup. Um, so you see, I just have a block of wood clamped down and then an arm that can pivot and the motor is connected to the arm. And then it's resting on the like kind of kitchen scale or postal scale. Um, and there you can see it is, rotating and and this this thing had like very very little friction it's really mainly just to keep it on track uh we're going to be using this four cell battery the, and this three cell battery for the three cell test and i'm going to be using this watt meter and this is what i'm going to be using to control it with my fly sky radio and then we're going to be using this 80 amp esc uh which actually can handle up to six cells so that's cool there's our 12 6 and our 13 5 5 propeller and here we go 50%. And then I went to full power at the end there for, for the little bit. So that was pretty good. Uh, things got moved around a lot. <laughs> full power. <laughs> it's so scary doing this in Okay, that was pretty good.
Okay. And we're going to swap out to the 13.55 propeller, and uh, they are different propellers. One's actually supposed to be in a pusher configuration or a different rotation. So I did ro I did uh, change the rotation of the motor to suit that. And then, of course, we're actually pushing the motor down with the thrust instead of trying to pull the motor. And also, I just want to mention that, uh, of course, this is not a very scientific setup with a kitchen scale and all that sort of thing, but what I basically uh, tried to do is just get the some of the the peak values um, that I could read on the scale, you know, afterwards. So, um, in retrospect, I probably should have left the motor running for a little bit longer, but um, I didn't want something to get damaged by leaving it running. Um, and it was just kind. Of, it was also kind of tearing up the room. I'm blowing air everywhere, so. Um, that's why it's like that so i you know obviously your voltage as your voltage drops your thrust is gonna it's gonna go down um but this way we kind of get an idea for at least like if you're flying around and you want to give it a little burst of power kind of how much how much thrust you'll get there All right, that does it. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought of this, and uh, if you're interested in this motor, I'll have links uh, in the description. Again, thanks to Banggood for providing this motor. I'll see you on the next one.